Hey everyone, this is a quick tutorial on how to set up a brand new MetaMask digital wallet um, from scratch. A lot of people are brand new to this space. They want to get into it, but they don't even know where to begin. This is arguably one of the first steps. Um, it's a great way to give yourself a, uh, a digital wallet address, which is basically your identifier in the Web3 space. Um, and this is just a little crash course on how to set all this up. So the first step is you're going to want to go to a desktop or a laptop and you're going to want to go to a, um, a web browser, open up a web browser and click on metamask.io. It'll bring you to this page. Now, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm using Google Chrome. Uh, the Google Chrome element makes you add what's called an extension. And we'll, that's basically what we're being asked to download here. There are other supporting browsers that work with MetaMask as well. Firefox, Brave, Edge. And then, of course, you have your iOS and Android systems that work with a specific app that you can find in those respective stores. Um, but again, for the purposes of this, we're going to be installing the extension on Chrome. So we're going to click on install that extension. It's going to bring us to the Chrome Web Store at which point we're just going to have the MetaMask added to the Chrome as an extension. And you'll see a little fox appear up here in the top right. Um, let me just pin that so it's constantly there so we can pay attention to it. So as that appears, the next step is to set up the wallet. Now, this is kind of a little fork in the road. If you have an existing wallet and you just want to set up a MetaMask account, you can add what's called your secret recovery phrase here and import that wallet to the extension. This is helpful if you sign on to a new browser. If you're new to Chrome, for example, and you want to start using Chrome as your primary web browser, if you bought a new computer, etc. For the purposes of this tutorial, though, we're going to be starting the wallet from scratch. So we're going to create a wallet. Now, a uh, very important uh, feature that Web3 Space offers is this entire decentralization element. Uh, there is no help desk. There is no phone number to call to figure out what you did wrong or have somebody help you through things. It's important that you understand that all the security is dependent on yourself. Whether you connect your wallet to a site, make sure you trust that site. Whether you want to mint an NFT, make sure you trust that that's the proper NFT you want to mint. There's a lot of due diligence that has to be put into this, and it all starts here with the security phrase. Now, the security phrase is a randomized uh, collection of random words, just words thrown together in a specific order. There's usually about 12 of them, um, and this works and acts like your digital fingerprint for your wallet. It's your fingerprint, it's your ID, it's your blood sample all rolled into one. Now, First things first, when you see this C phrase with this uh, recovery phrase, which we'll get to in a second, you want to write down this recovery phrase in the order that it is presented to you on a piece of paper. Do not take a picture with your phone. Do not digitize it. Don't put it into a spreadsheet that could ultimately be shared in some sort of a shared platform like Sheets or Google Docs or any of that stuff. You want to keep this as simple and as separate from anything connected to the internet as possible. And then afterwards, I would actually recommend you take that same phrase and you put it onto a platform that is fireproof and waterproof. The bottom line is this is the only way you can access your wallet. It is critical that you know exactly where this phrase is and is accessible in order for you to access whatever uh, whatever cryptocurrencies you have in this wallet, whatever digital assets you have in this wallet, such as tokens or NFTs or anything like that. So bottom line is this is an important, critical, I can't stress this enough. You must write this down and know exactly where this is. So first things first, it's going to ask me to create a password. I'm just going to put in a random one. And I've already read the terms of use. Okay. So now it's going to give you a little crash course video if you want to watch it. We're not going to watch it here, but it'll basically say exactly what I had mentioned about the importance of this. Never share this with anybody. Nobody will ever ask you for this. This is, as what they put in quotes, your master key to your wallet and your funds. Think of this whole issue as like a safety, safety deposit box. This is the only key that exists. So you must secure this. Um, just... 
I'm going to walk through this process and then this this wallet will be neglected. So I'm going to actually show you guys how the security word is pre uh, presented to you. I'm going to write it down and then I'm going to I'm going to confirm it using this exact system. Um, I'm not concerned it in any way, shape or form that this information is going to leak because at the end of this tutorial, this wallet will just disappear into existence. There will be nothing in this wallet. So I'm going to click here to reveal my security words. And again, the importance of this is really critical, but not necessarily on what the words are, but the order that they're in. So give me a second. I'm just going to write down these words. And I'm going to just make note that this is the word on this test wallet that I'm creating with you guys. Okay, so I have everything written down. I'm just going to click next. And now it's going to ask me to put it back in the correct order. It's basically testing that I that I wrote it down correctly. So I'm going to put the uh, the words in the correct order. If you could just bear with me for a second. Mountain. Unaware. Erosion. Century. Ceiling. Trade. Confirm. OK, and that's it. My my MetaMask wallet is now officially set up. So it's going to bring me to a static page. Um, this page is not really that important because it is a Chrome extension page. What's really important is the extension itself. So when you click on the extension, you'll see the extension pop up. And this is literally my 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 MetaMask wallet. Um, my my wallet is not connected to this particular site. If I was on a Web3 website, which had a, an option to connect my wallet, I would be able to connect my wallet authorize that the wallet be connected to that website and then i can interact with any sort of web3 capabilities whether it's confirmation of my existence whether it's to mint an nft whether it's to accept a transfer etc um, we do not have any funds in this wallet those funds would need to be transferred from a major exchange like ftx crypto.com coinbase um, and you the way you would do it is you would transfer them to your wallet address and this is your brand new wallet address. Now, the wallet addresses always start with a 0x and then there's a series of code that follows suit. Now, there's no definition on what those what those codes are are uh, you know, there's there's really no set standard on how long that phrase is. Um, it's just completely randomized and it's your unique identifying identity. Um, it's basically your it's your identity on the uh, the web3 platform. Um, so all that being said, you now have a brand spanking new wallet and you can go and you can interact and connect. So for example, if I wanted to go to, um, open C and I wanted to connect my wallet, I'm going to connect my MetaMask and then it's going to confirm that I want to connect it. I connect and then boom, my wallet is now connected to open C. If I wanted to confirm that I would just click on the extension and I would see that the wallet is connected. Obviously, we just created that. There's nothing in here. Um, but again, this wallet address is something that you would basically carry around with you as your as your as your ID throughout the Web3 space. So hopefully that helped. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we'll be more than happy to walk you through the process a little bit more. Uh, but once again, this was a brief tutorial on how to set up a MetaMask wallet.